my man right here, what's your name? Oh, Trey. Trey? You a Christian, Trey? Yeah, kind of, sort of. You kind of, sort of? I see you got a cross on, so what does that symbolize to you? Well, honestly, salvation. Salvation? Yeah, we are 1960. Give me Revelation. What is it? One more time. 1960. 1960. I'm going to be with you real quick. We talking about the image of Christ right now. What does Jesus Christ look like? According to the Bible. What does it say? He got wool here. It says he has what? Wool here. Like this right here, right? And what else? He's what? Okay, cool. But guess what? The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the what? King of kings, Lord of lords, right? Read what you got. Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it out. Oh. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. So Jesus the Christ, a black man, is the King of kings and Lord of lords, right? But King of what kings? Lord of what lords? These blacks and Hispanics you see in our neighborhoods today, we are the kings and the gods and the lords that are below what? Just Christ right here. And guess what? We look just like him. That's what the Bible says. So what what denomination do you belong to of Christianity? Because you say you kind of a Christian, kind of not. Like, what's 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 going on with you? What's going on? You have faith in God. You said your cross symbolized salvation, right? Give me Luke chapter 1. Bring it out. So when you say salvation, when you say that that cross symbolizes salvation, what does that mean? Salvation for who and in what way? Salvation for you because you're free. Spiritually free. Give me John chapter 8, verse 32. You said you're free, right? Okay, what else about salvation? We're gonna get freedom real quick, see what makes us free, then we're gonna move on. So what else, what else, what else does salvation mean according to you? To your beliefs. What do you believe? Go ahead. Who, who can be saved? Uh, humanity. Humanity. So, so salvation applies to everybody. Yeah. So the cross that you're wearing, it symbolizes salvation for everybody on the planet Earth, right? Okay. And freedom. Let's get freedom real quick. That's a lot simpler. Let's start with that. Read what you got. John chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. The Bible says we shall know the truth. Read. And the truth shall make you free. The Bible says the truth shall make you free. Give me Psalm chapter 119 verse 142. Bring it out. So first of all, let's think about truth in the traditional sense. The Bible says that Jesus Christ looked like this, right? That's the truth, right? And that's going to set us free. But we've been lied to with that man right there, right? So this image right here, having this in your mind is going to set you free. But having that image is going to what? It's going to bind you and keep you in slavery like it's been doing. That's right. Just like what? The image of the cross, brother. Because guess what? That didn't come with this guy right here, the real Jesus Christ. He didn't tell nobody to put a cross around their neck. That came with this guy right here. And it symbolized the same thing as him. Because what does this Jesus the Christ teach? That what? Salvation is for everybody. That's everybody right. can be saved. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, give me the truth. And we're going to see what makes you free according to the Bible and what Get truth up. is. We're going to see the truth that that image right there doesn't have. That's Read. right. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Read that again. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. It says what? Righteous, righteousness is everlasting. Righteousness is when you keep the law, statutes, and commandments. That's and it right. says it's everlasting. But according to that, that image right there, the law is done away with. But the Bible said it's everlasting. So that's how you know what? That's not the truth. That's a lie. Read what you got. And thy law is the truth. And it says thy law is the truth. So along with understanding the truths and the, the basic principles of this Bible, we have to do what to be free? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Do, does the teaching in law, statutes, and commandments come with that cross right there in Christianity? No, it doesn't. So what? That's already a lie that we've been learning through that image. Now, what you got? Read what you got. Luke chapter 1. Oh, yeah, salvation. Because that's what you said first. It represents salvation for everybody, right? 
Let's see what salvation is according to the Bible. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. So right off the bat, it says he's the God of Israel. Who is Israel? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You, brother. Matter of fact, where you from? You from, you from America, right? A so-called American black? You and your fathers? All right, cool. Well, this Bible is for you. And God said he's your God. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. It says he hath visited and redeemed his people, which is who? The nation of Israel, because he's right. our God. Read. And have raised up an horn of salvation. It says a horn of salvation, which is like a king or ruler of salvation. Who's a king or ruler of salvation? Jesus Christ, right? Read. For us in the house of his servant David. It says us raised up a horn of salvation. He raised up Jesus Christ for us through what? The house of his servant David. Meaning what? Christ came through the seed of David. What's another lie that they teach us? What? That this guy came through a virgin birth. That's right. That don't make any sense, and that's not what the Bible says. Bring it out. But when you learn the truth with this image, you get the truth of the scriptures and what the Bible says. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Why? Because that was prophesied from the Old Testament that that was going to happen. Read. Which have been since the world began. Since the world began. Read. That we should be saved. From our enemies. Yes, right. That right. the nation of Bring Israel shall be saved from our enemies. That's the us and the we in that verse. Right. Why? Because we're the, the the God is the God of Israel. So that's who it's talking about. It's possessive to one nation of people. And it says, what? Read that part again. That we should be saved from our enemies. It says we shall be saved from our enemies, right? Who are enemies today? These other nations that hate us, right? Right. Question. Who do these other nations that rule over us need to be saved from? Bring it out. Who? Matter of fact, what's that scripture in Wisdom of Solomon that says, our salvation, give me that. See you quick, I like that, all praises. Let's see what our salvation entails. Because it says, we shall be saved from our enemies. From all they that hate us. That's Read what you got. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 7. Bring it out. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. It says salvation of the righteous, the Israelites that keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And destruction of the enemies. It says and destruction of the enemies. If you have salvation of one people, you must have the destruction of another people. That's right. Why? Because what's another lie we learned with that guy right there? That devil right there, equality. Guess what? There's no such thing as equality. That doesn't make any sense. Because guess what? They teach equality. But guess what? You're at the bottom. That's Even right. in so-called black churches, you still can't teach a black guy. That's Why? Because right. right. when, when you teach a white Jesus, you get that Chancery Boards a discount. That's what you get. And they back you up. You can't teach a black guy. Matter of fact, Creflo Dollar, he got caught on camera. He thought he was whispering and the camera wasn't rolling, but he got caught. Creflo Dollar, whether he admits it or not, he knows that Jesus Christ is a black man. But he will never teach his church that. Why? Because he knows he's being watched. He knows as soon as he teaches that Jesus Christ is a black man, he will be cast out of his church. He gonna be destroyed. He already knows that. Why? Because we're at the bottom. He knows we can't teach that. And he made the decision to sell out. But guess what? All of us have not sold out, brother. Right, we gonna right. teach you the truth. Right, We're not right, out here right. for filthy lucre. We don't care. We tired of lies. We tired of that image right there. We tired of we tired of it, brother. And that's why we're teaching you today, so you can get some understanding. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Now we've already established that that image right there across your neck brings out lies, right? That is false. That is not true. So we are gonna show you what to do with it real quick. We don't, see, we don't read you a commandment. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25. Bring it out. The graven images of their gods. Stop. It says a graven image. What's a graven image? 
It's like an object, anything that somebody makes. When you read the Ten Commandments, the Bible says we're not supposed to bow down to images. And that's the problem with us today. A lot of us bow down to that cross and we worship what? This guy right here and his lies. That's the problem with it. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 25. The graven images of their gods. The cross of white Jesus. Read. Shall ye burn with fire. It says burn with fire. Is that in that verse? Read. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thy house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. Read that again. It says it's cursed, brother. Read it again. Read it slow. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house. It says that's an abomination, brother. It says don't bring it in your house. Why? It says it's going to be a snare to you. Why is it a snare? Because it's full of lies. It's not true, brother. Read. Lest thou be a cursed thing like it. It says, like, unless you be cursed like it. That's and the right. Bible says what we're supposed to do with idols like the cross is to destroy it. That's not to right. desire the gold in it. Because why? We so daggone greedy. We get the most extravagant Jesus piece we can think That's of. Right. Like Dre had before. We get gold all over it, diamonds in it. But guess what? It says it's cursed, brother. Get rid of it. Don't desire the gold of it. Right. Don't be covetous. If you believe in God and you want to keep his commandments, you would take that cross and throw it in the trash, bro. Right. Let, the God, let, it, let that be a burden for the garbage man, brother. That's what you would do. That's what you would do. That's what you do, bro. Where did you go? Habakkuk. What you going to do? You going to take it off? That's what repentance that's like that, bro. That's all we out here to do. That's all we out here to do. Because guess what? Now you can repent and start learning what the Bible really says. Who you really are. What's really required of you. All Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.